Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you remembering this class. All right. Dr. B is live now. All right. Magandang umaga, magandang hapon, magandang gabi sa lahat ng aking mga kababayan. All right. Now, we are going to continue our story time. Okay? I appreciate you following my class. And I encourage you to tune in every night around this time. It's 8.30 uh, Central Daytime in the United States. I don't know what your time is in your area, but please do follow me because I am giving this free story time supplemental and enrichment activity for students to support them in this new era of learning. All right, these daily reading practices will further help students maintain what they have learned and they will gain more skills to improve their education. This will be beneficial for those who have yet to master these skills as well as those who need to maintain their reading proficiency. All right, I teach phonics to help children decode letters into their respective sounds so that they develop a skill, all right, that is essential for them to read unfamiliar words by themselves. All right, that's what I do. It's free, everybody. This is free. I am giving my services free, all right, to help children begin or jumpstart their learning process, all right. Now, the key factor in language learning is repetition. If you are wondering why I keep repeating words, sentences, and stories, okay different strategies this is the reason why the key factor in language learning is repetition the more you repeat words sentences stories over and over the faster you gain language acquisition this is crucial because exposing new learners to new words enables vocabulary development all right vocabulary allows children to link the letter sound knowledge into their spoken knowledge. Repetition can bring clarity to an idea and make it easier for learners to remember details and meanings. All right, meanings of words, meanings of, the, of sentences. That's what I meant. All right, on that note, I have with me a friend that would like to say hello good morning good evening wherever you are you are welcome to join this class free no charge all right now in this class i um teach children to relate words and sentences to pictures. I teach them to identify and name pictures correctly. I teach them letter and sound and picture word recognition. Um, we practice blending, segmenting, rhyming, chanting, spelling, and alphabetical order, all that, okay? But the main idea is to get them into reading fluently and understand what is being read. That means they have to improve their comprehension. Here's my friend, my kitty cat. Hello, everybody. Hello. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you in the United States and Canada? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to you. Good evening, good evening, how are you? All right, now let's see. Our, st our story for today is at school. All right, tonight we're going to read at school. All right, now, but before we read, 
our story, all right? We are going to read our high frequency words. It's very important that we know how to use the high frequency words because these are the same words that we use every day when we speak or when we write sentences like the word we like our food. I like my house. You are wonderful. There you are. So I made my flesh. Now we are ready. The first frequency word is we. Listen. W E U E We. The word is we. We are going to put this word up here on this board. Can you see it? Very good job. All right, the next word is you. Why? Oh, you, you, very good job. All right, now we're going to put this up on the board. Next word is I, I, that's just me. I like you, I, all right. These are the frequency words, all right. Uh, later on in our uh, story, uh, reading or story time, we will learn how to use these kinds of high frequency words in sentences. All right, right now we are just learning to read the high frequency words. Okay, now I am going to show you how to put these words in alphabetical order. All right, now when you put words in alphabetical order, always start. Okay, on letter A, your alphabet always begins with letter A. Start with letter A. Let's take a look. Is there a word that begins with letter A? No. What about B? No. C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Do you see a word that begins with letter I? I see I. This is a pronoun. This comes first, so we are going to put this up. First, now we have two words left. Okay, let's see. Let's go on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. Is there a word that begins with W? Yes, I see we will go we'll go ahead and put this right behind i and you don't have to go all the way down to z anymore w x y that's the last one just pick it up and that would be your third one that's your last word all right now we have your high frequency words in alphabetical order listen carefully because i'm going to read all three words you will get a chance to read all three words out loud to yourselves. All right, first word is I. What word? We. What word? You. What word? Let's do it again. My turn first. I, we, you. Your turn to read all three words, just like I read it to you. Get ready, begin. Very good. I, we, you. I means me. Okay. You means you. And we means you and I. We are going to read. It's story time. Woo All right. Now we're going to read or practice reading our concept words. First word is, listen, read. R E A D, read. Okay, now we are going to put, blend all the letters and sounds together. All right, but first we have to know the sounds. R, R, E, D. Now I have to tell you something about two vowels. When there are two vowels in a word, all right, that word has long vowel sound. 
it has E and A. The first vowel says its name, and this is E. The second vowel is silent. So now we're going to read it this way. Read. Read. What's that word? Read. Good job. Next. All right. Is together. All right. T O G E T H E R. All right. We are going to put all these letters and sounds together. Okay. Let me tell you. Uh, let's see. This is T. I'm going to make it. Let's see. I'm going to get another one. Paper. All right, here it goes. Two, that word is two. All right, that word is two. Ready? Gay. TH is a digraph. TH digraph. ER is vowel R, vowel controlled R. Because you hear the R, er, all right? Er, er. Let's do this again. It's slowly. Okay, let's break it down. Together. The word is, let's read it smoothly. Together. Very good job. All right, next is school. Let's. All right, let's say all the letters. S C H O O L. C H is a digraph. It says ch, ch. All right, two O's. I have to tell you something about two O's. Let's see, right here, two O's. It does not say a or o. A, as in short vowel sound, octopus, or o, as in orange. It says oo, oo. Now let's do it. Sk, school, sk, ool, school. All right. Next. Sing. S, I, and G. Now let's blend all the letters and the sounds together. S, and you can say, ing, ing. That's one sound, ing, s, let's see, s, ing, sing. What's that word? The word is sing. All right, next word. Next, oops. All right. Here's the next word. Paint. Very good job. P. A I N T. Let's sound it out. P A. Remember A and I. All right. It says its name, so I is silent. A N T. Now let's blend all the letters and the sounds together. Let's break it down. Paint. Let's read the word smoothly. Paint. What's that word? Paint, good job. Next, the word is right. Let's spell it. W R I T E. Now let's sound it up. W and R are consonant blend. R W R R R. -er. You hear? You don't hear the W. You start the R R I. Silent E. All right. Remember two vowels. The first vowel says its name. The second vowel is silent. R I T. Let's read it smoothly. Get ready. Right. Very good job. All right. Next one is play. P L A Y. This is a consonant blend. P L pl pl and a and Y makes it like long vowel A. Play. Now let's put these words together, this, the sounds together. Pull A. 
play. Very good job. All right, now we're done sanding it up. We did our blending, segmenting. We did our uh, spelling, all right, and we did a lot of sound um, recognition. All right, now here's what we're going to do. All right, I am looking for, this is what I'm going to do. I will look for um, words. I will tell you what word I'm looking for. Now, when you recognize that word that I'm looking for, all right, you put your thumb up and you said, yay, that's it. That's the word that I'm looking for, okay? Or that's the word that you're looking for. If it's not the word that I'm looking for, you said thumbs down. All right, let's try that. Get ready. I am looking for the word. All right, I am looking for a word, sing. Does this word say sing? No, thumbs down. All right, let's keep looking. All right, let's find out. I'm looking for the word sing. Is, does this word say sing? No, thumbs down. All right, next, I'm looking for the word sing. Does this word say sing? No, thumbs down. All right, next, I'm looking for the word sing. Does this word say sing? Yes, thumbs up. That's it. That's the word that I'm looking for. S I N G sing. Yay! Woo hoo! There, there we are. That's how we do it. All right. Next, I am looking for a word. Let's see. Together. Does this word say together? No. Thumbs down. All right. What about this? Does this word say together? Yay! That's the word. T O G E T H E R. Thumbs up. Yay! Woohoo! That's the word. We found it. All right. Next, I'm looking for the word uh, right. All right. That's the word. Does this word say right? No. Thumbs down. All right. What about this word? Does this word say right? No. Thumbs down. All right. What about this word? Does this word say right? No. Thumbs down. All right. What about this word? Does this word say right? Yay. Thumbs up. Ooh, that's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. W-R-I-T-E. Right. Very good job. Woo -woo. Very good. All right. Next, I'm looking for the word uh, let's see, school. Does this word say school? No, thumbs down. All right. Does this word say school? Yay, that's it. Thumbs up. It's S-C-H-O-O-L. School. That's the word that I'm looking for. Yay. Woohoo. All right. Next, I'm looking for the word play. Does this word says play? No, thumbs down. All right. Does this word says play? No, thumbs down. Does this word says play? Yay, thumbs up. That's it. That's the word that I'm looking for. P-L-A-Y. Play. Woohoo. Now I am looking for the word paint. All right, paint. Does this word say paint? No, thumbs down. All right. Does this word say paint? Yay! That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. P A I N T. Paint. Yay! Woohoo! Very good job. All right. Now, what is this word? That's the last one. This word is read. Very good job. Now we are going to read the words again. All right. To identify. Oh, this is this word. What's this word? Let's clap on this word. Sing. Did you see me clap? Yes, I clap. How many times did I clap? I clap one time. Therefore, the word sing has one syllable. All right. Now, this time, let's Clap on this word. Together. You turn to clap. 
how many times did you clap? I clapped three times. Therefore, together has three syllables. Good job. All right. Next word. Right. Let's clap on the right. Right. How many times did I clap? Did you clap? How many times did you clap? Right has one syllable. Very good job. All right. Next one is school. Let's clap on school. 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 That's one syllable. All right. Okay. Next one. Play. Do you know how to clap one play? That word play? Play. I clap one time. Did you clap one time? All right. So what do you think? How many syllables do you think this word play is? Play. One syllable. Good job. All right. Next. Clap on this word. What is this word? Paint. I clap one time. How many times did you clap? Paint. Paint has one syllable. Good job. Next. Clap on this word. Read. Yes. Read has one syllable. Good job. All right. Now we are ready to look at our book. All right. And when we look at the book, that means we are going to read. All right. This is the cover of your book. The title is At School. And it is written by Meg Michaels. Meg Michaels wrote this book. That means it's the author. All right, this is your cover. When I open the cover, you will see the title page. And it has the same title, At School, by Meg Michaels. All right, now let's see. On the cover, you have this picture of kids. All right. On the title page, you have the picture of these kids. What are they doing? All right, they're writing. All right, they're learning. Good job. Now let's go to the next page. First page, what do you see? Do you see anything? Tell me what you see. All right, tell me what you see. There you go. Tell me what you see. I see kids. What are they doing? They're looking at a book. They're sharing. And they're reading aloud together. Look at all the books. Where do you think are these kids? They are probably, all right, at the reading corner or at the library. Let's see what it says. Okay. I'm going to read it first. I will read it one word at a time so that you can follow and understand what is being read. We are going to read it again, all right, to practice fluency so that you can develop comprehension. All right. Listen carefully and follow along. All right. We read together at school. You turn to read the same words in this sentence, okay? We read together at school now we're going to read the same sentence okay and so that we can practice on our fluency all right listen carefully as i read aloud you go ahead and follow along after me here we go we read together at school you turn to read the same sentence get ready we read together at school very good job next tell me what you see all right, we talk together at school. Look at the children. They're talking. They're not talking about, you know, I don't like you. I like this. I like that. They're talking about their subject. They're talking about how to spell words. They're talking about how to add. They're talking about how to put words in alphabetical order. That's what they're talking about. They're learning. Talking is learning. So there they are. Now, it's your turn to read the same words in this sentence. Get ready. We talk together at school. Now, listen carefully as I read the sentence out loud. Okay, follow along silently. All right, 
we talk together at school. All right, let me do it together. All right, your turn to read the same sentence. Get ready. All right. We talk together at school. Very good job. Next, let's take a look. What do you see? All right. I see a man with a guitar. What kind of subject do you think? What class is this, by the way? What do you think? It could be a music class, right? All right, let's find out. All right, let's see. All right, we sing together at school. It's your turn to read the same words in this sentence, okay? Get ready? We sing together at school. Now we're going to read it again for fluency. Get ready? We sing together at school. Your turn to read the same sentence. Get ready, begin. We sing together at school. Very good job. All right. Next. Look what you uh, look at the picture. What are the kids doing? Who is that person in the middle? Okay, that could be the teacher, right? Let's see what it says. All right, I'm going to read it. We paint together at school. They could be in the art room, don't you think? All right, let's see. You turn to read the same words in the sentence, okay? You ready? All right, now we're going to read it again. All right, for fluency. We paint together at school. You turn to read the same sentence. Get ready, begin. We paint together at school. Good job. All right, now let's look at these two kids. What are they doing? All right, they're both writing. Could they be in um, a writing room? A reading class? They're trying to write sentences? All right. Get ready. Let's find out. We write together at school. Very good. You turn to read the same words in this sentence. Get ready. That's right. Let's read it fluently. Get ready. We write together at school. You turn to read the same sentence. Get ready. Begin. Very good. We write together at school. All right. Now, let's see. Last page. We play together at school. All right. It's your turn to read the same words in this sentence. Get ready. That's right. Now, let's read it again. Let's read the sentence fluently. Get ready. We play together at school. You turn to read the same sentence. Get ready. All right. There you go. That's right. We play together at school. Guess what? That's the end of our story. Now, let's see. All right. If you remember anything about that story. All right. You know, all books have titles. What is the title of our story? At school. Very good. Now, all books has characters. All right. Characters can either be a person, all right, or people, animals, or things, all right. Characters act out the story, or they talk about the story, or they tell you about the story. Who are the characters in this story? All right, you saw it. They have, they have the children, the teachers are the characters, all right. And let's see. This is a music teacher with guitar and the right of uh, the art teacher at the painting room, the art room. All right. They could be in gym. They should be a gym teacher there too. All right. Now, so all stories have setting and the setting tells you what time and where the story happened. And it, it says in the book. You see them. All right. Some of the kids are in the art room. Some are in, in uh, at the gym. Uh, let's see. Where else are they? In the reading room, music room. All right. And the uh, art room. All right. And the gym. All right. Next. 
do you think these children will learn from working together in a group? Because we saw them working together. Those are the characters. Yes, they will learn. Okay, they will learn together in a group. They will learn how to get along. All right, they will learn how to listen to one another. Okay, now what rules do they need to follow? If you were in that group, what would you suggest? If I was in that group, I suggest that we talk one at a time, not all together, because if you all talk together, you cannot hear what everyone is saying. All right, now what about how is a school like a neighborhood? All right, what is a neighborhood? It's a place where all people gather, okay? And, you know, they do things together. It's almost like a school. All right. It's a place where all the children who want, uh, who, the learners gather and they all want to learn together. Guess what, boys and girls? That was the end of our story. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by in this class. I appreciate that. Thank you for listening. Thank you for following directions. And thank you for wanting to learn because I know you learned a lot from this lesson. Hey, Mr. Happy Face said very good. He's giving you a thumbs up. And you got my thumb up too because you are really very good. High five. Give the person sitting next to you high five. All right. Now, that's the end of our story. I'm going to tell you. I will tap my shoulders for you. Left shoulders, right shoulders. Clap your hands. Hooray. You are great, everybody. You are great. All right. That's the end of our story. Until tomorrow, the same time, I am giving another story. What will be our story for tomorrow? I am going to read special stories. All right. Don't forget to um, stop by this class. All right. Make sure you are going to listen to special stories. All right. Now, if you have then, I enjoyed you all. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye. All right. I am going to end the video now.